have the Google Drive link with you. So you need to download the recording with your machine. It's going to be permanent with you. It's not like for one month or two months or one year. Like It's not that. It's going to be permanent with you. Okay, so let's begin with the session. This particular session that we are going to start with, it's about the Power Apps and Power Automate. Before this, I am Santos. I am working as a technical specialist in a software company and it's more than 15 plus years of experience. I am taking all these online sessions from last 4-5 years. Once after the COVID, the process gets started with online session. So I am involved with that. Saturday and Sunday, I am getting some time. So I am involved with all these tenants. This particular session that we are going to start with, the entire duration, it's going to take around two months. Our session is going to be the weekend for two hour session, Saturday and Sunday. Saturday two hour, Sunday two hours. So it's a Saturday and Sunday two two hour session we have. The complete duration of the course is going to take around two months. And one important thing, like suppose I'm going to start with a particular topic. It might be that particular topic, it's get completed. Because see, I'm just going to take the session. But you people really need to do the practice. On the basis of that, you need to do some assignments. So it's going to take time. So I'm not going to, I'm not a kind of person that who is going to like put all the bounces in front of you. Everything should be like under the control. So if I'm going to realize like, okay, now today we have the enough content, I'm going to stop that session. It's not like it's two hours, no, no, we are going to complete multiple topic. No use of that. Because I don't think like anyone having the problem with, suppose in the place of two months, if it's going to be 2.5 months, nothing harm with that. But if you are not going to understand the topic, then it's create the problem. So in this way, we are going to learn the things like in the comfortable way, we are going to learn the things. It should be balanced. It's not like overburdened for you because I can understand like everyone is professional. Now people need to do a lot of things. It's not only our responsibility to learn the technology. So, but the boundary line is this. Okay. So first of all, nowadays I am telling you in the industry, the different pattern is going on regarding the Microsoft Power Platform. Especially, I am talking about this Power Automate and the Power Apps. This is the best combination right now in the market to get the job immediately. And good thing about the entire process is you don't need to write the code. The good thing is like you don't need to write the code. Like you don't need to write lines of the code over there. So, you can say no code or it's a less code is required over there. This is the good thing about the entire processes. So you don't need to write lines of the code like in other technology, like you need to write multiple lines of the code, the few lines of the code. Here you don't need to do that. You just need to understand the entire concepts and everything. So this is the first thing that. The second thing is like Microsoft platform having the advantage like I'm talking about this power automate. This is basically used for the automation. We are going to link with the power automate with the power apps. So we are going to automate the process using the power apps and power automate. When I'm talking about the automation, basically all the automation comes under the umbrella called RPA, a robotic process automation. Under the robotic process automation, we have so many things are there. Like we have the UI path, we have the blue prism. But recently the trend in the market is, recently the trend in the market is like power automate is growing like anything. The reason is it's a license. 
and the second reason is the capabilities of the power automate to integrate with all other tools available with the power microsoft so now you can say like you people are going to get the templates you are going to get the ready made solutions you don't need to do so many logical things and all so that's why nowadays this particular course is in demand and we are going to learn all these things so the entire course i am talking about in this particular course like we have the three sections are there i just i am going to divide my entire course into the three different parts over there one is the initial level like we are going to learn about all the basics then we are going to learn about all the advanced to get the job these two is enough but other than the advanced we need to be like uh, the few things are extra over there that also we need to learn because if you are going to put some level of experience like if you are going to ask them like you are like you are going to put some experience of one year one and a half year in that case people are also asking about these questions so we are also going to learn all these things so the entire power platform i'm just going to divide my entire course content into the three parts the basic the advanced portions and the extra under the basic portion of the power apps what we need to do initially we are going to learn about the power apps then we are going to learn about the power automate and then we are going to integrate all these things basically our focus will be on the power apps under the power automate we are going to learn the automation and then we are going to integrate everything okay so initially what we need to learn about before anything the people are facing the problem during the installation what problem people are facing because you are going to connect with a microsoft platform you are going to connect with a microsoft platform so you require the license or you require the company's account you require the company account but what we can do we can also create the developer account and you are going to get the developer account for 90 days you are going to get the developer account for 90 days some of the time even the developer account is creating the problem but more or less you are going to get it for the 90 days or if you have some office account over there in that case easily you can connect with this so first of all what we are going to learn about we are going to learn about the installation and configuration here we are going to learn about how we can apply the power apps with the web we are going to learn about how we are going to use the power apps studio or how we are going to use the power apps with maker portal online you are going to work on that and then we are going to start with the power automate to understand what exactly is that so we are just going to start with that Let's start with power apps we are going to write some small programs and all then we are going to learn about the basic control in the power apps we are going to learn about the basic control in the power apps basically what exactly the power apps is in the layman term if i need to define the power apps so what you are going to do you are going to design the gui you are going to design the graphical user interface just you are going to design some forms you are going to design some reports to create the forms what you require you require the text box you require the label you require the button you require the check box the radio button these kind of stuff so initially we are going to learn about the basic control then we are going to learn about the function that function is known as fx function we are going to learn about the function more or less these functions are equal to you can say like excel function that we are going to learn about then we are going to learn about the variables we are going to learn about the collections collection is used to put the multiple values and all we are going to learn about the gallery control we are going to learn about the gallery control and remember either it's going to be the power apps or it's going to be the power automate you need to be comfortable with the sharepoint so we are also going to learn about the sharepoint basics 
Under this SharePoint basics, we are going to learn about the list and the libraries. After that, we are also going to learn about the different data sources. Different data sources over there. It can be the SQL, it can be the Dataverse. So we are going to learn about that data sources also. And then it can be Excel also. So we are also going to learn about like how we are going to apply the, the Power Apps with the Excel. So we are also going to connect, we are going to make the connections with the Power Apps. We are also going to make the connections with the Power Apps and the SharePoint. We are also going to make the connections with the Power Apps and SQL. We are also going to make the connections with the Power Apps and Excel. And on the basis of that, we are also going to do a lot of use cases over there. It can be the imply management, it can be anything, like we are going to work with some use cases over there. Under that use case, our objective will be, it's not only like we are working with all the controls and all, we are also familiar with how we are going to apply the connections, how we are going to put the crude operation, create, read, update, delete. If we need to apply the insert, I need to put insert, I need to put update, I need to put delete. All these things we are going to learn. And then we are also going to learn about how you are going to publish your application and how you are going to share that. So these are the initial things that we are going to learn about. Here my objective will be, we are going to work being, working with the canvas. Canvas means the background, the GUI I am talking about. We are going to design the form. We are going to make the connections with the SharePoint, SQL Server, MS Excel. And then we are going to work with that use cases over there with by the use of different controls and all. And further we are going to publish, how we are going to publish, how we are going to share. All these things we are going to learn. After that, in the advanced portions, what we are going to learn about? We are going to learn about the components in Power Automate, Power, uh, power Apps. So we are going to learn about the component. We are going to learn about the dynamic positioning. Dynamic positioning. We are going to learn about the we are going to learn about the named formula. We are going to work with the theme. And then finally we are going to learn about the Power Automate. Here I am talking about the Power Automate Cloud version. In Power Automate, again, we have the two things are there. One is the Power Automate Cloud and one is the Power Automate Desktop. Power Automate Desktop is completely a different story. Here I am talking about the Power Automate. Means I am talking about the Cloud version of the Power Automate. So initially, we are going to take the few sessions with the Power Automate. We are going to understand how to work with the Power Automate and all. And finally, we are going to make the connections with the Power Apps and the Power Automate. Got my point? After this, in the export level, more or less these things are enough for you to get the job. Right now in the industry, right now I am talking about the industry, it's in highly in demand. And if you have some working knowledge with these things, no? if you can deploy, if you can publish, you can work with the SharePoint, with Power Apps, Power Automate and all, easily you people are getting the job. After this, but suppose, and definitely you are not going to get the job as a fresher. You need to put some experience. Either it's going to be the fake experience or you are going to manage that. You need to put some level of experience, at least one year, one and a half year. And further you can divide the things like, okay, like one year I worked with the Power Automate and from last six months I'm also working with the Power Apps and all. So in this way you can manu manipulate the things, but some experience should be there, then only you are going to get the call. If you are going to put like, okay, you don't have any knowledge with the power, like you don't have any past exposure with the power apps or power automate, no one is going to give you the call. And this is a fact. And it's not only with this technology, with every technology. As a fresher, you are not going to get the job. Something should be there in your resume. So the people are going to ask you for the interviews. After that, we require the expert level. In the expert, even though it's not required from your, at your level, but we need to understand the few things over there, like how we are going to apply the delegation. 
in Power Apps. How we are going to use the container, the responsive container I am talking about. The responsive container I am talking about. Basically, these are the questions that people are going to ask you if you are going to put some extra level of experience, like if you are going to put two years, two and a half years, three years. In that case, people are going to ask this question. How you are going to monitor the apps? What are the offline capabilities? What are the environments in the Power App? How we are going to work with a custom connector? Here you are going to make the connections. You are going to connect your Power Apps with SharePoint. You are going to make the connect Power Apps with Excel. We require the connector to make the connections. So how we can work with a custom connector? Means if I am going to customize. How we are going to apply the import and export? So these are the few things that we are going to learn from the extra point of view, like from the expert level. So these are the content we have. Here we are going to learn about the both the Power Apps and the Power Automate and these are the content. And here we are going to, like here we have the use case. We are going to work with the different, different use cases over there. My objective in the entire session will be at least you should complete the three, four different use cases over there. All these use cases related with the both, like the Power Apps and Power Automate. So basically I'm going to put the kind of the use case that you people are going to put in your resume. Like if you are going to put some, definitely if you are going to put some experience, you need to showcase like what you did in your past company. So you are going to put that use case with your uh, like over there, like in your resumes and all. Here also we are going to learn about the library of applications. We are also going to work about the e-commerce application, how we are going to work with that. So all these things are there that we are going to learn. And this particular session, like we have scheduled for Saturday and Sunday only. What I will do, I will create the separate WhatsApp group. In that particular group, I will create the separate WhatsApp group. In that particular group, you are going to get the notes, you are going to get the recording. And during the practice, once your course get completed, suppose you are in the job and you are facing some problem. 24 by 7 you can text me yeah I'm talking about the text <laughs> because and whenever I will get the time I am going to call you back or I'm going to respond of your text because also I have the some time constraint is also there but more or less you are going to get the response from my side suppose some new feature is coming every time all these things are changing keep changing if some new feature are coming you are going to update of that or might be you are going to get the recording from my side for that update. Because see, I'm not going to do any research and development or R&D with you people. Already I'm working with all these things. I'm taking all these sessions. Multiple batches is going on. So everything is like every pattern is fixed. You are going to get all the interviews questions, the resume samples and all everything you are going to get it from my side. So this is all the content. What are the contents and everything is there that we are going to work on. Any questions from your side? Recording will be there, the notes will be there. Any questions? Anything from your side that you would like to discuss with me? So that weekly you said that Saturday, Sunday and what the time standard sir? Yeah, Saturday. So you are from USA? Uh, no, sir, I'm from Dubai. You are from Dubai. Okay, so it's going to be your comfortable time. No need to worry about Saturday, more or less, it's going to be like uh, same time. Saturday, more or less, it's going to be same time. Sunday, what we will do, we will discuss in the session, and Sunday, we will just keep the session slightly early. Or it can be the same time, so that's not a problem. Timing and all, you people are not going to face any problem. Like Saturday, Sunday, we can adjust the timing and all everything. So that's not a problem. Only you need to attend the session, you will get the recording that you need to download and you need to do the practice and all that's it. For this entire course, the fee is 9,000 INR. And at present, you are going to get the 10% discount 
it's our independence day so like your you people are going to get the 10 percent discount on that so this is what exactly the fee that you need to pay and you can pay the fee in the installment also that's not a problem like half of the amount now you are going to pay and half the amount you can pay in the next month so this is also you can do if you have any concern if you have any question already you people are in the group so you can text me personally we can connect and if you have any queries we can resolve that also our next session will be on saturday our next session will be on saturday because it's a saturday sunday session today my plan was just to go through with the course content the roadmap how we are going to do what are the things we are going to cover so saturday we have the first session timing i will yeah. tell you timing is going to be near uh, like it's the same time a slightly one hour like it can be like uh, it can be five it can be seven six so i will update you about the timing uh, i have one question like uh, uh, will the data verse section will also be covered here yeah like, yeah 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 data verse we are going to cover the workflows yeah, yeah data verse we are going to cover that will also be covered yeah in this case. so whatever the thing is required now like for the power apps like we are going to cover everything and suppose suppose during the entire session so many things are there suppose during the entire session if you believe like this particular topic is important you need to go through with that you can text me and we can have the session on that also so no need to worry about all this because see honestly speaking documentation wise i am not good like it's really a tough task for me to create the documentations and all so because see <laughs> like we are from the coding background so it's a tough task for us to always create good pdf and documentation and all but more or less these are the content and if you feel like any particular topic is remaining over there and you need to go through with that like so you can text me and we will complete that also that's not a problem it's fine anyone having any questions please